What you have seen are the swatches of the Stellar Lips Liquid Matte Lipsticks. Ngayon naman, ito yung review part and I'm gonna show you everything about the lipstick itself. So, first off, I just like to thank uh, Miss Steffi of Stellar Lips and Had a Story. These were sent to me by them. And also, thank you so much for approaching me if I wanted to receive them. And actually, the lipsticks came with a letter. Thank you so much, Natasha. They are a brand that is vegan, cruelty-free, and also made here in the Philippines. So, Gawang Pinoy, another brand that we could be proud of. So, si had the story, yung kanilang main account sa Instagram and they sell their the skincare products. Yung Stellar Lip is a project ng Hada and ito yung kanilang mga lipsticks naman. So, I don't know if they will be expanding to other makeup products in the future but for now, all they have are the lipsticks sa Stellar Lip. And by the way, Hada Story is formerly Basque Beauty PH. So, ngayon, had the story na siya. So, aside from ordering from them directly through their Instagram accounts, they are also available on Shopee and also at the Salad Box Sapphire SSS Village Maritina. I will also put in the description box below all the social media accounts where you can contact them and also where you can viber them. So, now, let's start off with, as usual, the packaging. This is how it looks like. So yan, ganyan siya dumating sa akin. All 12 shades, ganito sila dumating sa akin. Wala silang box, wala silang seal. Ganito lang talaga sila. Right off the bat, what I noticed is the packaging and where it is similar with. Meron kasi ako, if you are familiar with the international makeup brand, Jewel, they are a high-end brand, no? So meron akong isa noon. And this is actually, ito yung Jewel na liquid lipstick na matte din. And actually, this is one of my most favorite lipstick sa entire collection ko. If I would have to choose a top 5, kasama to doon. But, this is quite expensive kasi bukod sa imported siya and well-known brand siya. Hindi siya available dito sa Philippines. Alam niyo naman yun pag ganun, mahirap makuha and expensive or pricey yung mga ganun. So, I got this. I don't remember exactly, but I will put it somewhere here on the screen. But this is 1,000 pesos plus. <laughs> expensive siya. But anyway, so yun yung nakita ko agad. Yung similarity nila, di ba? Pareho silang quadrado or rectangular yung packaging. And then, pareho silang may black cap. And almost pareho ng size. Pero mas mahal to. Mas mura to. Siyempre, yung, yung ating local. Anyway, going back to Stellar Lips. Uh, nakalagay dito yung brand niya. Nakalagay dito yung Stellar Lips. And then, it says, Featherweight, Vivid, Smooth, Comfy, Matte. And then, nandito sa ilalim, dito sa ilalim, yung shade name also kung ilan yung laman niya. So, this is the shade Pony. It's what I'm wearing right now. Sabi dito, 9ml yung laman niya. So, walang nakalagay kung ng ingredients and also kung gano'ng katagal siya yung shelf life niya or before siya mag-expire. But I'm gonna ask Miss Steffi and tignan nyo na lang in the description box below yung info na yun, okay? This one is made of acrylic, and ito din, plastic din na kulay black. Tapos, nakikita yung, yung shade sa loob. And I must say, mabigat siya. So, I, I find this one, I find the design, and the material, and the overall look elegant. Kasi yung shape niya, tapos mabigat siya, hindi siya yung magaan na cheap na cheap yung plastic. And then, the overall look for me is sleek and elegant. We open it, to twist lang siya, ganyan. And this is the doe foot applicator. So, quite short siya kumpara sa mga normal na liquid lipstick, no? But, mas malaki pa rin siya kay Jewel. And si Jewel is 6ml lang. Ito 9ml. Para sa akin, sakto lang naman. Sakto lang yung haba niya. And madali lang din magawa ng precise application. With the smell, Hmm. It has a sweet smell. Frosty. Parang mga icing ng cake. 
Hmm, I like the smell. Mabango siya. And then, yung consistency niya, it's quite moussey for this one. This shade is quite moussey. Gano siya katagal magde-dry up after you apply a minute or two. Tuyo na siya. Very opaque. Itong gamit ko ngayon is one layer lang. And then, nag-add lang ako ng layers dito sa inner parts ng lips ko. Doon lang ako nagpangalawang coat. Pero itong the majority of, on my lips is just one layer. Kasi very pigmented siya. The reason na why naglagay ako ng two layers sa inner part ng lips ko is because I'm trying that technique kung kapag double layer lang dito, mas hindi siya madaling matanggal ng food. But I am very pleased kasi kahit nag two layers ako sa inner parts and one layer lang dun sa majority sa labas, pantay pa rin tignan yung kulay niya. So, masasabi ko na full coverage siya guys. Hindi siya yung makikita mo pag mas makapal, ibang kulay dito. Yung patchy-patchy ganun, hindi siya ganun. And that's a plus for me. I really love full coverage lipsticks. Kasi syempre para sa akin, mas matipid yung ganun kaysa pag layer ka ng layer. Comfortability, it is comfortable. Hindi siya drying. Lightweight siya. Totoo yung claims niya na featherweight. Yes, smooth. Yes, comfy. And yes, obviously matte. Powdery matte yung finish niya. So ngayon, wala pa kong, hindi pa ako kumain or uminom since I applied this. Let's try the kiss proof test. So ito yung arm ko. Oh, merong konti. I don't know if you can see it, pero merong konti na powdery-powdery. Here. And it is from my top lip. Each lipstick costs 350 pesos each. And they are paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Application, it was very easy to apply, very opaque, very pigmented. Wala akong tulak kabigin sa pigmentation niya. Lahat sila opaque, walang streaky na shade, very very good. Sobrang smooth niyang i-apply sa lips. As you can see naman in the video, in the swatch video. So ngayon naman, mag-move on tayo dun sa lasting power niya, longevity niya. And as usual, yung mga shades na nagamit ko nung mga nakaraang araw, I took pictures of the after eating. So, I'm gonna put it here somewhere on the screen so you can see. And meron akong kodigo dito. Yung picture lang din, just to describe to you what I'll be saying. So, the first one I've tried is Tropical Sunrise. Ito yon Tropical Sunrise. And ang nangyari sa kanya, yan, nasa picture na yan, I ate rice and ulam and drank from the glass. And, ayan, okay naman siya. Ang natanggal lang is yung inner part, sa inner part ng lower lip. Yun lang yung natanggal kasi medyo oily yung ulam. So, it's normal naman yun sa mga liquid lipsticks. And, ang maganda dito is, pag nag apply ka, kahit ang i apply mo lang is yung sa lower lip, yung sa nawala lang na part, okay siya. Hindi siya magpa-flake. Hindi siya mag-sobrang drying dahil nag-layer-layer na siya. And, yun nga, katulad ng sabi ko kanina, ang maganda dito is full coverage siya. So, kahit na ang dagdagan mo lang is yung inner parts ng lips mo, hindi siya yung mag-a-appear na parang hindi pantay kasi parang may light dun sa isang part tapos darker dun sa isang part. Alam nyo yon pag nagpapatong na kayo ng liquid lipsticks, nag -re -re touch Kasi, I think that it's a plus kasi not every one of us has the time na pagkatapos kumain is you have to remove everything pa on your lips and then reapply sa buong lips ulit. Kasi, di ba, mahirap siya tanggalin, makakakonsume ng time, kasi pinaperfect mo pa ulit yung paglalagay para walang lampas-lampas, di ba? And mas madali na lang and mas mabilis, lalo na if you're on the go, na mag-reapply dun lang sa mga nawalan na part. So, that's one thing that I love about these lipsticks is yun nga, walang problema sa reapplication. Okay, so the next one that I've tried is plum pie. And nakita nyo naman, ang ganda-ganda, ganda-ganda, ganda, -ganda, ganda, -ganda <laughs> ng shade na to. And napaka-flawless nung nasa lips ko. Siya nga pala guys, nung in-apply ko itong mga to, nung mga araw na nag-study ako sa kanya or ino observe ko siya, hindi ako naglagay ng lip balm underneath. So, ina-apply ko siyang bare sa lips ko kasi gusto ko ma-describe sa inyo kung ano, siya, asya lang. Hindi yung na-alter siya, baka na-alter siya ng ganito. 
alam niyo yun, yung formula, baka nag-iba kasi nag -ganito. So, ganun muna yung ginawa ko. So, kasama to. Pero in the end, nag-try din ako na meron akong yung isa may lip balm, yung isa may lip oil. But, we'll get to that. So, dito muna tayo kay Plum Pie. And yan. Ang ganda, diba? Kilikilik ako sa shade na to. <laughs> it's like grayish, purplish, parang lavender, parang ganun siya. And it's really nice nung nag-blend na siya sa natural color of my lips. And yung pang fade niya, tignan nyo, as you can see in the picture, it's really flawless. Wala siyang, basta parang naging gray din siya for me. Okay, so the next one was, this was La La Land. So, yan yung kay La La Land naman. Kay Plum Pie, so kay Plum Pie, ang kinain ko din dun is mga rice ulam din ganun. And drunk water from the glass. And then, this one is La La Land naman. And ito, umalis kasi kami nito, we went to the mall. Pinasyal namin si Macy. And this is what I decided to use. And ganyan yung naging kinahinat na niya. <laughs> Pero kasi naman, ang pinagdaanan niya ay grabe din. Kung ano-ano ang kinain namin. Siyempre, di ba minsan pag nasa mall ka, you tend to, to parang tako mata. <laughs> to be tako mata kung ano yung makita mo. Parang gusto ko i-try yan. Gusto ko kain niya. So, medyo napadami yung food trip namin nung time na yun. And mostly was mga finger foods. Like french fries, waffles. <laughs> yung waffles na naka, naka ano, parang to go siya. Tapos you just bite on it. And also, we ate shawarma. So, syempre, alam nyo naman sa shawarma, yung pita bread niya is medyo powdery. And then, yung mga meat sa loob, and then the sauce, oily siya. So, syempre, ganyan yung mga pinagdaanan ni La La Land. Pag kumain ka, kakapit sa lips mo, mabubura, malilipat dun sa ano, kasi may oil siya. And you know naman, ang kalaban ng mga liquid lipsticks is oil. By that, I mean na yun yung nakakatanggal talaga sa kanila. Then, I drank shake, milk tea, using straws. So, medyo mas mabigat ang pinagdaanan niya kumpara doon sa mga nauna kong pinakita ang picture sa inyo. But, for something like this, ang na-observe ko is, pag nag-reapply ka sa whole lips mo after eating, na without erasing it, I mean, pag ganito na yung nangyari sa lips mo, hindi yung inner parts lang yung natanggal. Pag nag-add ka na, pag pinatungan mo siya is, medyo mas heavy na yung feeling niya. Mas drying na siya ng konti. Konti pa rin. Hindi pa rin siya sobrang-sobra kagaya nung sa Color Pop Ultra Mats. So, sa akin, yun yung ginawa ko kasi I wanted to test it out. But my advice to you is it's either you remove it completely or apply ka ng lip balm before adding another layer para mas comfortable siya. Pat the excess with tissue and then at saka mo patungan ng ganito if you don't want to remove entirely before reapplying. In that way, mas comfortable siya pero hindi siya, hindi ma-alter yung pagiging transfer proof niya. Okay, the next I use is Hot Kiss and ito yung picture niya. Inner parts ng lips ko yung nabura sa kanya. I remember na aside from rice, ulam, itong araw na to ay ate sandwich. So, ganyan yung tanggal niya. And then, ito yung part na nagamit ako ng lip balm. Kaya sabi ko na mas maganda siya and mas comfortable. It's when I use the shade No Royal. So, ganyan yung kinalabasan niya. Mas comfortable talaga siya sa lips. Kahit saan naman na liquid lipstick siya, eh, mas comfortable siya pag may balm ka sa underneath ng lipstick. And then, I drank coffee from the mug. I drank green tea. Nag-green tea ako the whole day kasi refill lang ako ng refill pag nasa bahay lang ako. Then, the last shade that I use is Vanilla Rush. Ang ganda din ng kanyang mag-fade kasi mamit ako lip oil, the human nature. Sunflower oil, if you are familiar with that. And then, I put this on. And, yun yung masasabi ko. Mas graceful siyang mag-fade or maalis pag kumain ka ng oily food kapag meron ka lip oil. So, aside from reviewing and observing these lipsticks. Meron din ako, kasi ngayon ko lang to ginawa actually yung yung mag-balm and mag-try mag-oil before putting on liquid lipstick sa mga reviews ko. So yun din yung na-discover ko sa pag-review ko dito sa liquid lipsticks sa Stellar Lips. It's better to use balm, but it's even better for me in my preference to use lip oil na na-soak up, na na-absorb na ng lips mo. Hindi yung oily pa tas ilalagay mo na kasi ma-alter niya yung formula no. Ano. So it's it's more comfortable throughout the day and mas graceful yung mas graceful yung kanyang pag-fade for me. 
So, yun yung advice ko sa inyo. Nasa sa inyo na yun, if you use palm or oil or plain lang. And yun lang yung observation ko. So, I really, really like the shade, the range. Nakakatuwa. Kung napansin nyo, guys. Ayan. Ito na kasi yung 12 shades. Lahat na kinikerry ni Stellar Lips. For now. I don't know kung mag pa sila in the future. But, kung makikita nyo, halos lahat nudes. Diba? Nakita nyo naman yun sa swatches. Halos lahat ng klaseng nudes. Meron sila may warm, may cool-toned, merong for light skin, merong... Merong for light, fair, medium, dark, deep. Lahat na ng... Feeling ko lahat na ng skin tones and undertones merong swak sa inyo na nude kay Stellar Lip. Ang hindi lang naman niya nude is tong red, si Pony, and then yung Hot Kiss, yung pink, and then si Plum Pie, yung medyo purplish, yung parang lavender siya for me. All the other nine shades, ayan, ang dami yung pagpipilian na nudes. Meron at merong babagay sa inyo. Okay, so at first I thought na parang medyo pricey yata siya for 350 pesos each. And then I realized na kasi 9ml ang laman niya. So 9ml is a lot for a liquid lipstick. And in fact guys, parang ngayon lang yata ako naka-encounter ng liquid lipstick. Sa collection ko, ito lang yata ang may pinakamaraming laman na 9ml. And kasi usually 5 or 6ml ang laman. Like nga yung sa Juway, diba? 6ml lang yung laman nun. And then, ang sunod na maraming laman na naaalala ko is yung sa Colored Liquid Lipstick, yung Lick Lacquer, 8.8ml yun. And this, mas madami lang siya ng 0.2ml and 9ml nga siya. So, actually, affordable siya kasi 350 pesos and you get almost double na nung amount ng ibang liquid lipsticks. Value for money kasi marami siyang laman and also pag in-apply siya sa lahat ng swatches ko and all those times na ginamit ko siya. Sa one layer, okay na yung isang dipping. Sapat na siya para ma-cover yung buong lips. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-dip again para matapos yung first layer mo. So, marami siyang laman, matipid pa siyang gamitin. Um, masasabi ko na lang siguro na hindi ko gusto sa kanya is dahil marami siyang laman, tapos hindi ganun kalaki yung lalagyan niya. So, Miss Steffi, if you're watching this, yun lang naman yung masasuggest ko na baka pwedeng mas lakihan ko yung lalagyan, yung capacity ng lalagyan. Kasi ganito yung nangyayari sa kanya. Kung nakita niyo, nagkalat yung lipstick dito sa pinaka-neck, nung lalagyan, kumakalat siya, tumatapon siya, I think. Kasi nung pagkuha kong ganyan, then siguro pag binalik mo, umaapaw siya, ganun. So, kumakalat siya. And nangyari din yan dito, eh. Ayan, isa pa to. Ganyan. Nakita niya yung kumalat dun sa parang pinakanek nung lalagyan. So, medyo messy siya. And sayang yung napupunta dun na hindi magagamit. So, pupunasan ko na lang siya ng dry tissue para mawala yun. But, yun. Yun siguro yung masasuggest ko lang naman. Na baka pwede mas malaking konting lalagyan para hindi siya aapaw. And then, let's move on to my favorites. My favorites are itong lima. I like La La Land. This is a perfect MLBB nude for me. And then, si Vanilla Rush. Mas brown lang siya ng konti. Deeper lang siya kay La La Land. Pero sakto pa din siya sa akin. I like it so much. And then, Bondi Bay before that right amount of pink. Plum Pie. Gustong gusto ko to guys. Wala pa yata akong ganito. Yung parang lavender siya. Kakaibang purple siya. Marami akong purple sa liquid lipsticks collection ko. Pero ito lang yung lavender. And ang ganda niya magmix sa natural color ng lips ko. So, try niyo siya. Maganda siya. I also like Pony. Yung red nila. Ang ganda ng pagka-red nila. Yung uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, guys, you know that I'm a fan of deep reds. And this is no exception. Pony is really nice and I like it. So, yung mga mahilig sa deep red dyan, try na si Pony. This is Gawang Pinoy. This is vegan. This is cruelty free. This is paraben free. The quality is very good. The shade range is really, really nice. Yung mga nudes, kasi mahilig tayo maghanap ng mga ganun, di ba? Yung everyday wear. Kahit ano namang sabihin ko dito sa inyo, this is just a guide, my opinion, and facts and info that I have gathered para may share ko sa inyo. Ang tunay pa rin na judge para sa sarili nyo is kayo. 
So you'll never know until, unless you try. And I tell you that this brand is worth trying. And I hope na nakatulong sa inyo itong swatch and review video ko. Makita nyo yung mga shades and makadeside kayo. Sana naging knowledgeable ang video ko. I always want my videos to be able to share knowledge to you. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow me also on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Lippy Eve. And chat with me down below. Chat me on Instagram. Chat me in the comment section. If you have questions, I will always try my best na mag-answer sa inyo. You guys inspire me to do better every day. To do the best that I can dito sa ginagawa ko. I love you guys. Thank you very much. And bye-bye. I see you in my next one.